stuff. I've collected a bunch of it in the pursuit and name of becoming a better artist. Even with all of this stuff, I still feel like an imposter. The question I have though, is what am I gonna do about it? I think I really need to understand why I feel like an imposter or a fraud in the first place. The more my dreams actualize, I think the more scared I get because I'm not actually afraid of this thing not working out. I'm not actually afraid of failure. What I'm afraid of is success because with success comes attention. And that's definitely not something I've always felt super comfortable with. So I'm really working hard on grounding myself throughout this experience and throughout this process. A question I asked myself when I first became a parent 12 years ago is where do kids learn morals and values? Do they learn them at home from their parents or in institutions like school or church? And obviously there's no one right answer to this philosophical question. But just recently it dawned on me that kids, especially before they can use words to communicate, absorb a lot of information from the environments they're in, from the adults in their environments modeling certain behaviors. What does that have to do with my career in art? <laughs> well, one thing that I thought of recently is that I didn't have parents that modeled success in a creative career. I had parents that worked in service-based businesses and another parent that worked for a big company. I don't know, I don't have the information on how do you build a successful career in a creative endeavor. And I think that has partially held me back because I've had no one to show me. I don't know what it looks like. I don't, what does it mean to be a successful full-time artist and painter? I don't know. I have to figure that out as I go. And this is definitely a little bit scary. All right. <laughs> Uh, finally assembling an easel, something I've been desperately needing to assemble and buy, honestly, for the last four years. Buying this easel has helped me create a more professional looking studio space within my apartment. I have a really small home, but now I have a dedicated corner at least to painting and creating. And with it already set up, I can start painting a lot faster and with more ease. All right, so let's put it together. Mm. These directions are really confusing and they're super tiny and super hard to see. I really felt like quitting this week. There was there was just a lot of red tape and things that I had to get done that I didn't want to do, like tax filing and like forming a legitimate business in my state is really overwhelming. Like there's a lot of steps for some reason, even though I'm a small business and I'm operating out of my home, like they just have a lot of red tape here. So it's been really annoying. Um, I'm working through it slow and steady. I'm gonna get through it, but it's just one of those moments where I'm like, I just want to be done. But I have said that before, and I always end up regretting it. So this time I'm just learning how to keep moving forward and keep going and keeping that vision alive. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit defeated or overwhelmed or just disappointed that there's not a lot of momentum um, or growth within my business financially, I like to ask myself or the universe this question. And the question is, how good does it get? And it's just kind of a way to prime my brain. Like, how good can my business get? Like, how good can my life get? 
What could I accomplish by staying on this path and following my heart's desire instead of giving up, which would be easy? Knowing that I have this desire to quit sometimes, I think the best thing I can do is acknowledge it and then understand that I need to move on. This dream isn't going away. From all the times that I've decided to take a break from art and pushing through with this career, I've always regretted it and I always wished I never stopped because it just puts me that much further behind from success. Another question that I asked myself recently was, what does it look like to actual, to be an artist? What does that look like? What does my day look like? And what I decided to do was um, Google, <laughs> I actually asked Google and I found a great blog and I'll leave it in the description box below. But after reading this blog, it inspired me to take action on creating a series. I've been in the mode of exploring my creative expression and trying to carve out what does my style actually look like. What I've realized after reading this blog was that I really, like the next step for what does it look like to be an artist for me and my journey is I need to start making cohesive like series. And that's what I'm gonna be working on this year and I'm really, really excited about it. It actually like really helped inspire me um, and I'm ta I've been taking a lot of inspired action lately because I'm really excited to see this series of 10 to 15 pieces come together and speak to each other because it's something I've really wanted to accomplish for a while with my art and I hadn't figured out how to do it yet but I've been putting some ideas together and some sketches together and I think you guys are really going to like this new series and once that series is done I'm going to start bringing it and submitting it to local galleries so it can be displayed as public art. I'll sell prints of it, especially the more popular ones, but I'm really excited about this idea of having a cohesive um, series of paintings and drawings or mixed media productions that really speak to each other and have a strong and clear message. The days of creative exploration will never be over for an artist, but I definitely feel like I've gotten my skills to a certain place where I can start looking at um, groups of paintings as a story all together and not just as individual pieces of artwork. I still feel a little bit like a fraud. I still feel like I'm tricking people into thinking that I'm good at painting, <laughs> but it's getting better and I think I've just decided I have to keep moving forward. I have to keep painting because when I'm not painting, when I'm not creating, my life just doesn't feel as fun. It doesn't feel as fulfilling. It's something that I have to do.